Oh, here is I, Mathe Janik here for Cinecom .net, and welcome to Copycat Friday, the best series on the whole wide YouTube. In this show, we try to recreate effects from famous movies and music videos and show you guys how we do this. And today I'm practicing my anime fighting skills because we want to show you how to gain this super godlike speeds you can see in various anime shows. And this all in Premiere Pro. So without further ado, let's do this. Believe it or not guys, but Jordi is currently on a two week vacation. Right now he's in Norway doing a road trip and he also visits a good friend Andy X, a fellow YouTuber and filmmaker. Now at this very moment he's probably filming some waterfalls and other waterfalls? <laughs> I have no idea what's in Norway. <laughs> But that's beside the point. We already have a lot of experience with anime effects, so this one is perfect for us. We have a good idea of what we need to do, so let's just start building the set. It feels like somebody is watching me. It's Detective Justine. So we have these monitors standing in front of our actor but we want them to flicker. So I thought of the best solution ever. We're gonna use these Aperture MCs to mimic TV light because you have these FX functions which you can use to create effects like uh, TVs, uh, light bulbs. But yeah, we're gonna use the TV setting and we're gonna mimic these monitors. Film logic, yeah! Disappear to lamb. Lamb is disparu. Disparu. I have that. <laughs> you could, you do, you wait, you want. We can't much. It's a little bit too close, Timo. In every video you need props and in this video Lorenzo is gonna fight a fly and eventually catch it. And guess what? We need a fly for this. So luckily, we have one. Focus, Timo! I'm trying! Yeah, I got it. Ah. So just to be sure, no living organisms or animals were harmed in this video. It was laying around in a corner in our hallway. Actually, it's just a plastic fly, again, it's lying. No, it's not! It's a real one! It's plastic. If it's plastic, put it in your mouth, Lorenzo. We have all the shots, but do we have all the assets that we need for this anime effect? Well, today's sponsor Storyblocks has a huge offer of anime effects and will definitely help us with that. You can use these line backgrounds for your reaction shots, or you can also use these lighting and smoke motion design assets for your anime action scenes. But of course, if you want to keep it realistic, Storyblocks also offers realistic energy effects, perfect for going super sane or doing a kamehameha. And with the possibility to download 4K footage, you can create super high-end effects. And of course, next to these anime assets, they also offer regular stock clips, After Effects templates, motion templates and so much more. And the best of all is that you only have to pay a single price per year to have unlimited downloads. So don't be a baka, baka and go to the first link in the description down below. What do we need for this effect? Well, the first thing we're gonna shoot from a tripod. This way we can make an empty and the compositing will be much easier later on. Then for the lens we are going to shoot with, we are going to go for a wide angle lens. This way your talent has way much more room to move in and will give the effect much more punch. Then it's time for your talent to do some acting. Let them jump in a certain spot, do some short acting and jump away. Now your talent needs to go to a different part of the room in the direction he jumped in. Again, let them jump in, act and jump out. Now do this jumping in, acting and jumping out as much as you want. Of course, we're not done yet because we want our talent to do this punch in the air effect. So again, let them jump in, do the punching and jump out. But make sure that you are doing your punch super controlled only moving your arms and keeping your body quite still. Next, let your talent go back to his original punching place and record some different punches. These extra punches will serve as variations which we can combine later on in post-production. Of course, you can do this entire process with kicking instead of punching. Last but not least, let your talent jump 
in the air while making himself small like a little ball. This we can use in post-production to create this pinball effect where the talent is jumping everywhere through the room like a ball bouncing off the walls. And voila, that's all the shots you need for this cool super speed anime effect. I thought we were... <laughs> I thought you were changing the lights, but it is our uh, TV light bulbs that are flickering. You naughty naughty. Why are you teasing me? Okay, time for the speed effect. And we actually want to show you guys three kind of effects, which all are super easy to recreate in Premiere Pro. But of course, you can also do these in After Effects where masking will be a lot easier. The first one is going to be the super speed effect through the room. In Premiere Pro, we place our empty shot in a sequence and on top of that clip our talent. Now we're going to look for the point where our talent is jumping towards the point where they want to land. And mid jump, we're going to make a cut and delete everything left of that cut. Next up, we will select the clip right of the cut and duplicate it. On this duplicate, we're going to add the add frame hold, making it stand still on the exact frame. Then nudge the duplicate four frames to the left and shorten it so it ends when the original talent clip starts. Now it's time to cut our talent out. We selected the freeze duplicate clip and created a rough but slightly detailed mask around the talent. Now we can just nest the freeze clip and start animating it from point A to point B. We want our talent to end his movement right where they are standing now. So at the end of the clip, enable the animation for the position. Then we went forward to the beginning of the clip and animated the talent to whatever side they are coming from. For us, this will be the left side. Now we only have to add the whole bunch of directional blur and boom, the effect is done. Of course, if your talent is moving towards the camera you can also animate the scale making him increase in size creating depth next up will be the second effect which is the super fast punching warning for this effect we are going to do some masking first of course place our empty shot in our sequence then on top of that the clip of our punching talent now let's search for the first punch movement at the start of this movement, we are going to make a cut. Then let's look for a finished punch. Again, here we are going to make a cut and now we remove the clip in between the two cuts. Then we went back to the start of our finished punch and went one frame further in time to make another cut. This will leave us with this one frame long clip. Next up, we are going to look for the part where our talent is between punches. Here we are again going to create a one frame long clip. And last, do the same for the second punch, making the last one frame long clip. These three short clips are the base of our looping super punch. Now let's add some effects to the punches. We're going to start with the first punching clip. Here we are going to remove the punching arm of the talent with a detailed inverted mask around that arm. Once done, we are going to duplicate the talent's clip and disable the invert of the mask so that we can bring back the arm. Next, we are going to nest the new arm clip and add a directional blur to it and blurring it a bunch. However, like you can see, we have this hard transition between the body and the arm, so let's fix that. We took another duplicate of the original clip and placed it on top of everything. On this duplicate, we only want to mask the outer shoulder and a little bit of the arm. Then just feather that mask and voila, the hard transition is gone and punch one is done. Now we only have to repeat the previous steps for punch number two. Again, removing the punching arm adding it back with motion blur and fixing the transition. Once done, we start with looping it. To make it ourselves easier, we are going to nest our punch effect. This we can then duplicate as much as we want. Then, when you are done with duplicating, just place your original clip back behind it. This original clip can start where your talent pulls his arm back, making the transition between the two clips and the punch quite smooth. As an extra touch, we also added multiple masked out blurred arms around our talent in different positions and opacities. And voila! Voila, effect 2 is done. Guys, stick with me. Here comes the last effect, which will be the super speed pinball effect. Again, we're going to need our empty shot on the bottom and our talent clip on the top. Now for the talent's clip, we have this shot where our talent jumps up and makes himself smaller. On the point where he is the smallest, we're going to add a frame hold. Then we delete everything left of the cut. Next up, we will again mask out the talent as good as possible and nest the clip. We can then add a directional blur to the talent clip and blur it a bunch. Now personally, we find that the talent is too wide for moving fast. So in the motion properties, we disable the uniform scale and decrease the scale width a whole bunch. This will make the talent thinner and look faster. Then for the movement, we just animated the position and rotation making him bounce off the walls and ceiling. We also animated the scale when our talent moved towards the camera. For some extra details, we added these corners where our talent bounces off the wall and goes to another direction. This we simply did with two talent clips, 
each with a different rotation. Then last, to make the effect look even faster, we animated multiple talent clips flying through the room, increasing the intensity. Again, these are simple position and rotation animations, nothing more. Now you're probably thinking, what about the shadows? Well, we added those, but they were flashing too hard and were more of a distraction than anything else. And if you now combine these three effects all together, maybe add some shaking to the speed impacts, you will get your own super cool anime speed effect. And that was it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed our super speed anime effect. And guys, if you want to see more anime effects, let us know in the comments below. Or you can say good holiday to Lorenzo because he's leaving for Spain next week. But don't worry, he's not staying there, he's coming back. Now thank you for watching, thank you Storyblocks for the support, and as always, stay creative. I got a new keychain, Timo. Some people will know it, some won't. A hard life on set. Put the box. <laughs> Place he was doing is what I was doing. Well, I have a Vlaamse colony. But, but, after, but.